Today is January the 1st, 2016. I want to show you all this camper I picked up. Um, I give $150 for this camper. And uh, my idea behind it was that outside is kind of rough, but it's got a lot of stuff in there that I'm going to be able to use and transfer to my cabin. And, uh, and well worth it. I mean, the jacks right here underneath it is, is well worth what I get for that. That little storage thing here, back here, and right here is your is your hot water. It's got the hot water in it, and it's gas run by propane, which is great. Um, it's got a few places here in the outside that I gotta fix, and I'm gonna end up uh, caulking it and fixing these. I done a little bit of temporary fix with steeples right here, and uh, here's a view of the front, and here's one of this side, and then. This here is where your tanks, your LP tanks go. And they go in here and it holds two in there. And right here is my um, refrigerator. Runs off LP or 110 and uh, done hooked it up to 110 with my generator and uh, and it works um, so I'm tickled about that and uh, back up here and get a better shot of the side and then right there's the back of it okay we'll step up in here and I'll show you the inside of her she's nothing fancy of course, you all know how fancy of a person I am. Okay, here's the camper. It's got has your kitchen table here. I got my I got some stuff out here. I'm getting ready to move more out here. Now here's my stove, LP gas stove with the oven. That there's worth the money that I get for the whole camper. And I have hooked the gas up to it. And I do know the three burners on the top, all three of them work. I have not tried the oven yet. It has the oven oven light. It also has the kitchen sink. Then under here. There's my water holding tank. It's got all kinds of storage. And then right here is my refrigerator, which I just showed you on the outside that um, it's gas and, a, and 110. So that's good. And it does work with the 110 because I did have my generator hooked to it. And it's got storage space in here. little closet which is pretty nice closet and then it also has the the um, gas heater as you can see and I have not tried it but I probably won't even use it because um, I use wood heat so um, I try to like to stay keep it that way as much as possible. Anything that I don't have to go buy and purchase is a big plus. So I like I really love my wood. It's got a nice little mirror here that uh, that I can put in the cabin, which I definitely need a mirror. Now I'll warn you about the the restroom and stuff in the in this camper. The wall the the. It's kind of rough, dirty, needs to be cleaned up, but it's got the little commode, got the drain, and then it's got your little sink, 
and and the sink has the the extension on it for your shower hose which I'm thinking about moving it all to the cabin too and then it's got the little light I'll need to clean it up maybe paint it or something and it's got the little sliding drawers for stuff to put stuff in so that's gonna be good so I picked this up for 150 bucks and, and I'm gonna take what I want out of here and since I haven't been able to build me a building yet to put my, some of my stuff in I'm gonna use this camper for storage until I get my uh, get me a building built and uh, uh, looking back here you can see the cabin you can see my son there he's getting ready to bring some insulation I got and and we're gonna store it in here and uh, but like I say in the oven that was well worth 150 bucks so you figure I got the oven I got the stove light I got the kitchen sink I got the refrigerator I got the hot water tank LP hot water tank outside which I, I'm thinking about using but I think I'll probably go with a uh, a tankless water heater on demand and uh, then I can just turn it on when I want to use it and then um, like I said I'll use the restroom I got, I got the toilet if I would decide to move it into the cabin in the sink which is small and and the shower head and all that and uh, the little storage compartment mirror that needs to be cleaned up and, and move it in the cabin and if you're trying to live small if you're trying to live small and live little and you're not into the big stuff this is a great option to do and if you watch Craigslist and different things you can pick up campers and there's a, a, a oodles of stuff that you can use from the camper and use in your log cabin or your little cabin like I got or your tiny living and uh, a lot of this stuff don't have a lot of time more uh, in it I mean uh, uh, people just used it for camping and they might not have camped a lot that stove I couldn't tell you exactly how much use it's in but uh, I would be surprised if it's got 30 hours of use on that stove you know because people just didn't use it all the time so uh you know but that's my intentions on that and just trying to make a short video here on it and uh, uh be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and also check me out on facebook it's living off the mountain uh living off the mountain on facebook and 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 uh please like and subscribe i really appreciate your all's help and uh support and uh, hopefully I'll be making a lot more videos here soon. Um, little Ace with Off the Grid signing out. You all have a great one.